Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is the series that I post every single Wednesday. I chat over all of the new makeup releases. I talk about what has my interest, what I'm probably going to pass over. I will link my playlist down below. I also started the community playlist a while back, so any creator who makes a style of new releases videos can add theirs to the playlist. If you want to see what a bunch of different people are thinking on all of these different releases, because of course all of the opinions and preferences are so different <laughs> from every single video, so I will have both of those linked in my description box. I will also link the trend mood one Instagram I do read off of her account and often share the photos that she posts over there so I do always link her every week as well uh, other than that though we do have a lot to chat about this week so let me go ahead and get started I'll scoot over a bit so I can add in some photos I will also have a video on this look coming soon this is gonna be Friday's video and I'm actually filming this on Sunday normally I film for the will I buy it's on Monday but I'm actually gonna be out of town on Monday and this whole week is going to be Super, super crazy. If you caught yesterday's live chat, you probably understand the craziness that is um, happening right now. All good things, all good things, but I made an exciting announcement in my live chat that I did yesterday. So there's just a lot going on. So I actually filmed a get ready with me on this look today and it is now Sunday at, what time is it? It is 6.02 p.m. My husband is outside grilling because we have some nice weather. I actually have a glass of wine, which is new for me. Normally when I film videos, it's usually between like 11 a.m. and I don't know, usually the latest I film on like the weekdays when I normally film is like 4 <laughs> p.m. So this is a little bit different. So who knows what's gonna happen in this Will I Buy video? I don't know, because I've already had a glass of wine. But I'm very excited because I feel like there was still a lot to talk about. I try to usually wait until Monday um, so I can have all Tuesday to edit and everything to have it up by Wednesday, but I felt like there was plenty of new releases to talk about and a few things that I'm really, really excited for, and I actually got a couple things in PR, so I thought I would show you. So I thought I would start off with ColourPop because I got tagged so much on this release. It is their new sponges. So ColourPop came out with the Full Beat Blending Sponge Kit. So you can buy this on its own. It is $20 for five different sponges, or you can buy each of the sponges um, individually for $7. So we have a velvet sponge, a detail sponge, an hourglass sponge, a complexion sponge, and then a silicone sponge. I am really excited about this. When I saw people tagging me, I was like, yes, please. I have to have this. And the day of the release, this actually arrived in my mailbox. And I was like, oh, score, because I was going to buy it. And last week, I bought the... Um, color pop and makeup just for fun. My friend Amanda, I talked about it on last week's Will I Buy It video. I purchased her collection. I was like, man, now I'm about to place another color pop order. But then this actually showed up and I was super stoked because I was definitely going to buy this. I wanted to buy the one with all five. I was just curious about it. I was just going to buy all of them. So I haven't used any of them yet. I plan on filming a video. So definitely we have the velvet sponge there. The detail sponge feels more like your kind of like your traditional sponge. Same with the hourglass. We just have different shapes. Um, same with the complexion one also. So this one has a little bit more of the slant to it and also the flat side. And then we have the silicone. So if you can see from this here, the sun is setting. I mean, I'm filming on the day that we changed our clock. So we are just like all confused on this house. Aries doesn't know what time she's supposed to eat. <sighs> It's been a it's been a rough one when you gotta change the clocks, okay? Um, I love all these colors, very pastel. I thought that was like perfect timing, of course, for spring, spring forward, and all of that. But I am definitely really excited about these. I would have purchased these myself 100%. I was I was planning to do it. So I was really excited when these showed up. I'm definitely gonna be trying them out. I will let you guys know what I think, but I love makeup sponges. This seemed like a great set to me, so very excited to have it. Thank you to ColourPop. All right, some more releases that people seemed very excited about. I got a lot of tags on these as well. This is from Fenty Beauty. So they are coming out with the new Cheeks Out collection. So we have a creamy, sheer, and buildable shades of blush and bronzers. So there's a lot of different shades of the blushes, also with the bronzers. I love seeing like a very varied collection for this. I think that's really fantastic, especially with the bronzers. I think that's really, really cool to see. Um, we don't have any like real information. It just says coming soon. I don't see the prices yet, at least at the time. Of course, I'm filming this quite a few days in advance, but want to be able to get this up on Wednesday morning like usual. So I don't see any other details yet. I, so these are cream products. 
I don't really go for cream products very often. I only have a couple of creamer liquid blushes in my collection. I only have one cream bronzer in my collection. I actually recently did a bronzer collection and declutter video. If you want to see that, I will link it down below. I only had two cream bronzers and I decluttered one of them. So I don't know this collection. I feel like so many people are excited over it and I feel the excitement and I want to be excited, but it's just a little bit of a struggle for me because I really don't reach for these types of products a ton. Now there's always ones that come along that I end up really loving the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, the Ilia Beauty uh, Liquid Blush, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Highlight, which is a liquid highlight. I just featured that in my recent Makeup Monthly in my favorite section. So there's ones that come along that I'm like, yes, like this is really nice. But I don't know. I'll have to see a price on these and see what I think. I did try the regular Fenty bronzer. I, I didn't like it at all. I actually featured it in my full face of least ranked makeup and I decluttered it. Um, so I don't know. Like obviously there are different products and everything. But I'm like ah. I don't know. So I'm kind of like waffling back and forth. I want to see a few uh, more details on it and everything. But that's one that I'm pro I'm just maybe I'll just like watch and I'll see what people are thinking. And then if a lot of people are seeming to love it, maybe I'll try it. But not being a cream formula girl makes it a little harder to get super excited. Look like Fenty's also coming out with a new matchstick glow. It says looks like a sheer iridescent. Um, it's like a sheer iridescent highlighter, I'm assuming. Um, once again, it, it's going to be more of a cream product. is isn't always my fave. It looks beautiful in the swatch photo. Like everything about it does look really pretty. I just don't know how much use I would really get out of it. So there's that. Um, I also did get quite a few tags that the next trend mood box is going to be taken over by Ulla Henriksen. I really do like Ulla Henriksen. I buy a lot of their products myself. I have for a lot of, um, for a really long time. I've repurchased a lot of their favorites as well. So I think this is interesting to see them. So the next trend mood box that's coming out is going to be all Ulla Henriksen products. So they're really well known for their skincare. Um, one of them is going to be a new launch and it looks like that one is going to be more banana themed. It looks like in here we're going to have the Banana Bright Face Primer, the Banana Bright Eye Cream. That is one of my favorites. It's what I'm currently using. Uh, also the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. That is the really bright blue mask. I actually did purchase that one myself as well. It's not an absolute favorite of mine, but every once in a while I pull it out and use it. Uh, I do also see the uh, the Glow O Dark Spot Toner. And I'm trying to remember if this is the toner that Desi Perkins loves. Because she raves about a toner from Ulla Henriksen and I've wanted to try it, but I haven't yet myself. And then also the new product in here is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. So that's going to be a new one from Ulla Henriksen and it's going to be included in the box. <sighs> I don't, I, I know that I don't need this one. I have, I actually have a fairly new one of the um, eye cream right now. I have the primer and I have the cold pour plunge mask. So probably wouldn't make the most sense for me to purchase this box. I am curious about that toner. If you guys have tried it, let me know. And then the new one, I don't see a ton of information yet on the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I do have quite a bit of vitamin C already in my collection, so I don't know if this is another one that I really need. So probably for the next trend mood box, I'm going to plan to skip over it just because I have so many products already. But if you love Ulla Henriksen and you need like backups of these products, they're products that you really want to try. You've been eyeing the brand for a while and you want to try them. It kind of reminds me of like a Sephora favorites kit, which I talked about quite a few last week. It reminds me like something along those lines. Um, I don't see a price on this one yet either. So the trend mood box does have different prices for each launch. I think this is going to be like the fifth box, maybe fourth or fifth, fourth or fifth. Um, and the prices do vary and it's not like a boxy charm where when you sign up you're kind of locked into it until you like decide to cancel or whatnot this is a different every single month if you want the box buy it if you don't want the box don't buy it and that sort of thing so it's not like you're locked into like a membership type of uh, schedule. You also want to put your email in because typically an email goes out before a launch and you have kind of like special access to shop early. There was some issues in the beginning with the boxes selling out during that like pre-sale time before it even got to like the general public. That's how I missed the second box. Uh, but I believe what I've heard now, they've kind of changed it to at least being able to have some quantities left over for when it goes out for people who are not on the email list. But if like you really, really want this one, I would probably suggest signing up for that list. But I am going to go ahead and pass over that one. Um, I'll, I'll be curious about some new information on the vitamin C serum, but I probably am not going to need it. 
And then I think it's interesting because I see some new releases from Murad, and these are also vitamin C skincare based. It says Environmental Shield Gold Stabilized Vitamin C Products. Uh, they're adding not one but two new products. We have the Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. This is $80. That's so very pricey. Helps improve the look of hyperpigmentation and uneven tone for dramatically brighter, healthier looking skin. That's typically what vitamin C is going to do for your skin. It's really good for anti-aging, really good for brightening, or if you have um, pigmentation, dark spots, etc. Uh, let's see. There's also going to be the Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Color Corrector, and this is going to be $62. Uh, so again, we just have a vitamin C eye serum. Again, I currently am using the one from Ula Henriksen, the Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I really do like. I've repurchased it. I've recommended it for quite some time. These are both going to be available March 10th on a line and also going to be in Sephora and also Ulta. Okay, um... I think that these both look really nice. I have been getting more into Murad. I actually first purchased a set from them from Sephora. I was interested in one of their uh, cleansers actually. So I found this cleanser in a set. I actually went on to really, really enjoy their water nutrient charged gel, nutrient gel. I had it in a favorites video not too long ago. Um, and I really, really do like that one. And then I think Mirad saw it because then they sent me over a PR package with a few more products. One is their hydration cleanser, which I think is really nice too. Their collagen serum, I feel like I can actually notice a difference with it as well. And then I do use their vitamin C moisturizer that's what i've been using in the morning and i really like that also and it has spf in it so i've actually been pretty impressed with the brand again it's just with these skincare products in particular skincare is not something that's really easy to overload your collection with and constantly be mixing it up and trying new things i like push my skin to the limit as it is with trying out different skincare so um you know that's usually not always the best thing i don't really re recommend that very often you know but so i'm probably going to skip over these as well but i will say because i've been kind of newly really interested into Mirad. I was like, ooh, wait, what are those? Some other products that I actually did get in PR that I thought I could mention. Um, Persona Cosmetics just came out with blushes, and I'm really, really excited that they sent these over to me, and I didn't think I was actually gonna get them because I saw others getting them like weeks ago, and I was like, like before the launch happened, and I was like, oh, bummer, because sometimes I, I feel like I haven't gotten every Persona released but the ones that I haven't I typically buy I'm a really big fan of the brand I just think that they do things really well they don't kind of like flood things all at once they don't have every single category out there but it just seems like all the releases are very really like just like really thought out and a lot of them are really really nice products too so when I saw that they were coming out with blushes I got excited for it and then they actually showed up the day of the launch too and I was like this is the best day ever. I got this and the ColourPop package on the same day. I was like, this is the best. What? Okay, so these are $22. So it says buildable budget. I think, no, I think that's supposed to be, okay, what? Buildable budget proof. I don't think that's what Sophie's trying to say in this post, but it says gives the cheeks the perfect flush that helps minimize the appearance of pores and it has a satin finish. Georgia is a sun-kissed peach with warm undertones and caramel is a rosy mauve with cool undertones. I'm pretty sure I said caramel when I did an Instagram and also a TikTok. Yes, because I am on TikTok and I am thriving over there, just living my best life. Mostly, I don't really dance, okay? Let's even though I love dancing, I just feel like, I, I just feel very nervous about the dancing parts. Um, but I've been really living my best life with like doing the voiceovers. I did one the other day about chips. <laughs> it's really probably some of the best content I've put out. So if you don't follow me on TikTok yet, I'm Samantha March Beauty. And I, I mean, I would highly recommend that you do, honestly. These are what the blushes look like. So this is a caramel and... I'm I'm really excited about these. I'm I'm just uh, like I'm I'm so I did not think that these were coming, so I was really excited. I think a mirror would have been like really cool right here, even though it still would have been really tiny. But I'm just such a fan of mirrors. But I like this packaging. It's just very like simple. I like that it's pretty small. Also, um, I think that these look really nice. I haven't tried them yet. I just got them recently, but I'm definitely planning to try them out. I did um, swatch 
caramel so that's why it looks a little bit funky thinking that but isn't that beautiful i think that this would be a blush that i would really really like that shade it's a little bit satiny i'm really excited to try these out again these are um these are available now on the persona website i was actually looking for them on ulta beauty the morning that i'm filming and they weren't there yet but i'm assuming that they will be coming to ulta so i will have these all linked down below but let me know if you are interested in these persona cosmetics blushes i'm really excited to test them out moving along i see benefit has added a new product to their hello happy family so this is the hello happy air stick foundation uh, it is in 12 shades which is not great <laughs> uh it's not great i i feel like i feel like with some of the foundation and complexion products that benefit has been coming out with recently i do wish that they would work on the shade range i know they came out with one that was really light coverage and um, it doesn't say in this one what even the coverage is like i know sometimes if it's something like a lighter coverage or a bb cream or a cc cream or things like that what they say what i hear is you know you probably don't need quite as many shades and all of that but i don't know i just i feel like they they haven't really hit that the greatest yet and I've, I'm actually in the middle of watching Angelica's video. She posts her will I, her like new makeup releases on Sundays, and I'm filming this on Sunday. I'm in the middle of watching her video right now, and I know she already covered these, and she was saying that, you know, that they really need some more undertones, and I would agree with that as well. So, no, nah, not really the best here. I'm also just not really a fan of foundation sticks, like stick foundations. <laughs> It's so fun because usually when I mess up saying words, I take a drink, but it's usually water. I typically have my water bottle next to me. Today it's actually wine. <laughs> That's fun. What a twist. I'm, I'm not super interested in trying those out for myself. I just feel like I probably wouldn't get on with it. And shade matching, I don't, I don't even know if I would be the best at shade matching for that one, but you can let us know what you think about that one from Benefit. I also, I got some tags on this release from Revlon and a couple different people wrote in, like especially in my DMs, and was and said that you thought it was a Tarte release, which, hold on, we'll get to Tarte in this video, my goodness, but it really did. This is actually from Revlon. This is their new collection. This is the Tropical Vibe. This is Revlon by Ashley Graham. So Ashley Graham is a model. Um, so that's fantastic. We have an island inspired collection, Vacation Makeup Essentials. So we have the Tropical Pop Kit with the Post Beach Glow Face and Eye Kit, a palette with 10 shades, eyeshadows, highlighter, and bronzer. Also the Vibe Lips Highlight in Island Hopping, the Tropical Heat Kit, which has a bronzer for face and body and lip highlights. Um, prices look to be around $25 or so for these different kits that are coming out. Uh, I don't feel like anything is really screaming me out of this collection. It's 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 pretty, and we got that pop of blue in there. That's still going on, so that's great. Uh, I just don't feel like I really need anything. It it didn't honestly like it caught my attention more because what other people are saying like oh it looks like tart. I was like yeah it does, and that was about it. So I'm gonna pass over that one. Uh, BH Cosmetics has some new eyeshadow palettes out. They have the Colory Vivici. I'm probably saying that wrong. And the Romantic Nomad. Um, so we have the two new palettes here. Each has 16 shades and they're going to be $12 each. I, I'm not really a huge fan of the BH formula. I know I should probably try another palette from them because it's been a while since I've tried something new from BH Cosmetics and things change and evolve and, and all of that. So I know I had a comment from someone saying like, you really need to try them again. And I do, but also at the same time, there's there's so much coming out and there's so many brands that I really do gravitate towards their formula so I keep buying from them and all of that so I haven't gotten around at this time to trying anything new from BH Cosmetics but I, I, I can't say either of these two palettes really speak to me on a on a deep level either so I will pass over those we have a new collection from Essence Cosmetics. This is the Bloom Baby Bloom. I love that everything is just like spring right now. I love that we're grilling. Oh, it's actually very windy here in Iowa. Please don't make fun of my hair because I had straightened it and you probably can't tell at all. But then we had one of Mitch's cousins came over and then his sister and her husband and one of their daughters came over and we were all outside and we were playing with Aries and things were happening and I finally just put up my hair. I'd already filmed one video. We went outside and it was just so, so, 
like ridiculously windy. I finally put up my hair and now I'm like, I feel like you can't even tell that I tried to do my hair today. So that's not my fault. That's not on me. That is on the weather, but at least it's not snowing. Okay. But with this collection with Essence, we have a new eyeshadow palette. We have baked highlighters. There is a blush lighter. There's a healthy glow primer oil, fruit kiss, caring lip balms. Um, and the brush hour, which is a collection which includes new brushes and a brush holder. I think everything in here looks really cute. The highlights especially look really adorable with their packaging. Uh, I can't say the fruit kisses, those, the packaging, it kind of like really takes me back and all of that, which is fun. Um, uh, but I, I feel like out of everything, the blush lighter, the highlighter, that to me looks the prettiest, but... Essence is a brand that I, I like them. And there's a few products from them that I've tried that I've really enjoyed, but I usually don't feel like I'm running to grab their new releases. Let us know like what you love from Essence and all of that. I would love to know. So I'm probably going to skip over that one. Let's see. Next up, um, Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with some single shadows. So we have new single shadows by Kylie Cosmetics. It says you can build your own palettes, 12 a 12 pan palette will be $45 so you can pick your own shades and you'll be able to shop most of the shades from Valentine's 2019, Balmain, Coco, and Halloween shadow palettes as singles. I believe that this is available now. So there's, you know, I mean obviously the 31 different shades so you have quite a few in here. There's a lot of neutrals, some pops of pink, um, I see a little bit of blue, some purple, a few deeper colors. Uh, I actually haven't tried Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadows myself and I don't I don't gravitate towards single shadows often. Probably if I could build them into my own palette, maybe I would like that a little bit more, but truly I just don't really go for my single shadows very often. I, I try not to purchase them. I, I'm someone who just goes for my palettes more, so I'm not gonna be picking up anything from here. Even though I see a lot of shades in here that I'm like, ooh, I bet I would really like that, but also at the same time, it's like, I probably also have them in my collection too, quite honestly. So I'm gonna be passing over those. Okay, I got really excited when I saw this actually. This is a new eyeshadow palette, another new eyeshadow palette from Sigma Beauty, but this is their Corda Rosa. They actually had a, wait, was it their blush or their bronzer? I owned it for quite some time. Um, they had a blush, yes, it was a blush. Um, the Corda Rosa blush, and that was one of the first products that I purchased from Sigma Beauty, that and the bronzer, which the bronzer name is escaping me at the moment, but it was so, so beautiful. So this, it says, includes 14 shades, a mix of, the post says, matters, <laughs> matters and shimmers, <laughs> mattes and shimmers. It's a full collection that was inspired by Sigma's top-selling blush. It was a blush, Corda Rosa, which is a deep peach nude. Corda Rosa in Portuguese is pink, but translated translates to English in color of a rose so they named every shade after natural roses matching existing rose colors will be available April 14th I don't see a price on this one yet usually the Sigma palettes run around $49 I believe it is but this one really caught my attention and I see that there's a brush included um it's probably from the picture I'm seeing is that the only picture we have so far it looks to be a double-ended brush and it's typically an you know actual Sigma brushes that are included in here which is great because sometimes with eyeshadow palettes, the brushes that they put in are just kind of like, eh, eh. But with Sigma palettes, they put in their actual brushes, which are, their brushes are just fantastic. When I first saw this, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm definitely very interested in this one. I do get a lot of PR from Sigma. I am an affiliate with them. My discount code is Samantha. I don't get everything though. If I don't get this palette, I think that I would probably go ahead and buy it. A lot of the colors really speak to me. The color scheme I think is beautiful. I feel like I would use every single shade in this palette. I also really like the Corda Rosa part really does speak to me as well with knowing how much I loved that blush. So I'm very, very interested in that palette. I will like cross my fingers that I get it. Um, but if not, it's probably going to be one of those that I would purchase on my own anyways. Let us know what you think about it or if you'd be interested in it. But I thought it was really pretty when I saw it. There has also been a lot of tags on the new mascara coming from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. It says, achieve maximum lash volume and fullness you can't stop bragging about. Instantly creates the look of dramatic full-bodied lashes with intense jet black, jet black color. There's an hourglass a shaped brush to separately coat each lash. Um, it's supposed to be a full pigment formula that glides on without weighing lashes down. 
will be available on March 10th. I don't see a price on this post, but I'm pretty sure that I saw these on Ulta Beauty. So let me see if I can find it on Ulta. It was under the new arrivals, um, and it just it did say coming soon. I think yeah. So oh, so there's actually going to be a mini. The mini is thirteen dollars. The full size is going to be twenty five. I love that they're also coming out with the mini at the same time. I think that's great. Especially when it comes to high-end mascaras. I'm all about purchasing the minis. Mascaras can go bad and expire very quickly. Um, so I just, I I would probably purchase the mini right off the bat. I'm just saying that. So it's going to be available online and in-store March 15th according to this Alta post. Okay, so I'm pretty curious about it. I am someone who, I used to wear false lashes a ton. I really don't as much anymore. I find that I really gravitate towards mascaras and I find like I'm, I, I like being on the lookout for really fantastic mascaras. I have the one from Ilia Beauty on today, which I think is a great one. I have tried the one recently from Fenty. I know a lot of people are comparing this one to the Fenty. Fenty's mascara, like, just came out very recently. Like, I'm trying to think. But, like, very, it was, like, very recently. So, I know that there's always, there's so many different copy, copycat claims and all of that. But it... I really don't think that this really happened with the mascara. Um, it, they're so close to one another, and I like I know how long it takes to produce <laughs> makeup. Like I've I've learned that recently, and it is so long, especially from creating a concept and then a formula and the packaging and then the marketing that has to go with it and then all of that. I I genuinely don't. I think that this is just very trendy colors. And that just kind of is what it is. Um, the Hourglass Shape Brush, I know like Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then there's been so many ones, so many mascaras after that. Um, because I feel like a lot of people tend to like this shape. So I don't know. Again, I don't really see a lot of drama with it myself. And I would still be interested in trying it out. I would probably plan to pick up the mini once it's available at Ulta. Oh, actually it is. It's my birthday month. So I mentioned this last week that I have... Mm, is it like 20% off on all my purchases at Ulta and then like a $10 off purchase as well? So I'll probably make some sort of Ulta purchase in the month of March. And yeah, I would totally grab the mini to try it out. So let me know if you think that you are interested in that one. Okay, uh, I see a new lip product from Dior. They are coming out with the Dior Addict Halo Shine Lipstick for $38. Also the Dior Addict Stellar Lip Gloss for $30. Uh, I'm not like a huge Dior makeup person. I've tried a few products from them here and there. I really did like some of their foundations actually, but the lip products, nothing's really speaking to me out of here and they are pretty expensive, $38 and $30 respectively. Uh, I'll probably going to go ahead and pass over those. Uh, I do see that Patrick Ta is uh, coming out with a brow product. Patrick Ta is a celebrity makeup artist. He's recently started his own line. I have purchased a lip liner from him, but he has a few different products and they're available at Sephora. So the major brow is a tinted shaping wax for the brows with a brush. Uh, it says we created major brow to empower women and men to be confident in their brows, their own skill, and themselves. Well, Patrick, that's not really me, but thanks for saying that. This is supposed to celebrate perfectly imperfect natural brows giving any glam balance and making your makeup look effortless. All I see right now is coming soon. I don't see a price on it yet either. So it kind of looks like like the soap brow trend um, with the brush and then the product. From what I'm seeing from these first photos that are coming out, it's kind of what it looks like and I know that trend is pretty is pretty popular. I see a lot of people do it. I don't know if this would really be for me. I wouldn't say that I'm really um, a professional at doing brows. I think I'm fine at it. Uh, but I've never actually tried the soap brow trend either and it does intimidate me just a little bit. So the tinted shaping wax, I don't know, that doesn't really sound like, I, I mean, I could definitely maybe try it one day, but like probably not in the really near future, you know? 
but that's gonna be a new release coming from Patrick Ta. I think we're just gonna finish it off with Tarte. They have a handful of new releases. So we have this new collection that includes a Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask for $14. There is a Mineral Sunscreen Powder SPF 30 for $28. There's a Breezy Cream Bronzer for $29. There's a Bronzer Brush for $29. The Surfer Curl Volumizing Mascara for $23. So this is a very like very like summertime let's go run in the water type of collection i mean i feel those vibes i appreciate those vibes as well like i'm ready to put on a swimsuit i've been self tanning <laughs> i'm like doing the most right now to help bring warm weather my way you know doing the most i'll say looking at these i i actually didn't really think tart for some i don't know i feel like tart has so many different they just always got a lot going on you know and sometimes it doesn't really feel like they're all from one brand like like they don't really have their own type of aesthetic or vibe they're just kind of like maybe that is their aesthetic they're just kind of always all over the place because looking at these i really honestly didn't think tart right away um the <sighs> I don't feel like anything really jumped out at me enough to have to run out and try to purchase but would love to know your thoughts on them and then going along they have some new releases in their maracuja collection this is inspired by their maracuja oil this was like a really really hot hot makeup product a few years ago we have the maracuja tinted hydrator um a hydrating tinted moisturizer uh, in 20 shades the maracuja miracle mist setting spray for $23 also the glossy lip oil for 15 okay so a tinted hydrator which um is their tinted moisturizer I think it makes sense to come out with products at this time um if you're somewhere where you're kind of moving into the warm weather a lot of times that usually means like less coverage for some people not for everyone I know that but even for like myself a lot of times in the warmer months I go for the lighter coverage um again going back to like cc creams bb creams tinted moisturizers we also have the setting spray and the gloss i think everything makes sense um but again nothing really jumps out at me enough to want to run out and grab it it's nice to see like it's interesting that i feel like <laughs> they have more shades in their tinted moisturizer than benefit has in their stick foundations which is kind of interesting so um, you know kudos there and everything but you have to let us know if you are interested in grabbing any of those releases from Tarte Tarte isn't a brand that I tend to like run out and grab a lot from myself so uh, I'm going to pass over that collection but after that that is everything me and my windswept hair that is everything for us today I would love to know what you think of all of these new releases what are you most interested in what are you passing over please do let me know I hope you enjoyed this edition of the will I buy it I did not drink enough wine well, how do people drink wine while filming YouTube videos? When do you drink it? I feel like I don't even have any time to drink it. But I'm going to go now and enjoy some dinner with my husband. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go. And I will see you in my next video. Cheers. <laughs>